Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to the Lord as given us together. Today I'm meditating upon Merry Christmas to you all. Before we start, let's just keep talks on this topic. John chapter 3, verse 36. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse you just read. Merry Christmas from all of us. As you have read the scriptures and devotion each day of December, during the Advent season, we pray. You have reflected on the real story of Advent. God becoming a human being in the person of Jesus. We hope you have experienced hope, peace, joy, and the love of Christ that God has placed in his Advent story. Each one served distinct purpose that accumulated with God's great gift 33 years later. Today we will focus on the meaning of Christmas. We will try to address the real message of Christmas, a message of true hope, everlasting peace, and the joy in receiving undeserving love through the ultimate word of God. God loves us so much that he paid our debt and gave us the ultimate gift of salvation. At the perfect time, he set his plan in motion and used ordinary people just like you and me to fulfill his amazing purpose. As we celebrate this Christmas, we must do so out of gratitude for what God did for us. We will encourage all of our readers and listeners to spend some time today helping someone who is less fortunate. Here are some ideas for ways to do this as a family or an individual. During this time of social distancing, we can pray together as a family for those who know have physical, spiritual, or emotional needs. If possible, schedule a time to help at your local food pantry, soup kitchen, or homeless ministry to see how you can serve someone who is undeserving of your kindness and bless them with something you are allowed to do at this time. If possible, run some errands or do some grocery shopping for those who are at high risk of contracting the virus so they can have basic necessities of life without putting themselves in any huge risk of getting sick. Lastly, anything the Holy Spirit leads you to do. May your Christmas be filled with joy as you celebrate Jesus' birth and his great gift to you. Have a blessed day, and if God's going to talk to you tomorrow.